what's up guys, my name's Ali A and welcome back. Finally, finally, part seven of this series um is here. Now let me explain, this isn't um a direct follow on from the last gameplay, very unfortunately. Um part seven and beyond, uh which I had recorded for the previous series, um all of those files corrupted for some reason. I think when I rendered them all out, um I'll I'll start playing in a second. Just wanted to make sure I'm explaining everything while I'm on the pause menu. Um, I rendered all of them out and I think that batch of renders which is basically making all of the uh, video files into one video I can put on YouTube uh, I think all of those files didn't transfer over properly so all of them just wiped and after I covered all of them on Warfare 3 news this weekend I sort of took a break from zombies for a little bit and uh, normal gameplays and I thought um, we'll cover Modern Warfare 3 and keep you guys up to date with that. And then I came back to uploading Part 7 uh, yesterday, I think it was, and it didn't work. <laughs> Which really, really sucks. So what I've done is, um, I've played all the way back up to the point I was at in the previous part. Got the exact same perks. Unfortunately, I don't have the same guns. Um, I'll show you which guns I have in a second here. But, um, I've got... They probably aren't as good guns, to be honest. I'll explain what I'm doing now. I'm back in the biodome. It's not going to be as dark as it is in the previous parts. Um, hopefully this series is going to go on for a very long time. Let's just start going. Alright, so... Let me just turn the sound down a little bit. Uh, on my Astro headset. God, I hate him so much. Alright, so what I've got here is... Um, the Pack-A-Punch pistols, uh, which is awesome. I've also got uh, the RPK. Um, the AEG, which actually apparently has no ammo. <laughs> And um, so what I'm doing is I'm basically just running around the map and I'm using this as my main gun, which is it's really, really good technique. Um, so basically, I run around with this as my main gun, keeping it out all the time. And if I run into any problems, I'll show you the main problem parts in this map just here. Um, and this part here, the zombies love to cut across. you really got to watch your back if you turn around and shoot them. So let me... No, I can't be bothered. And annoying that... Oh, that freaking... An astronaut is so annoying. Um, so these two uh, rocks here are so frustrating and um, can really, really, really catch you off, off guard if you're not careful. And <clears throat> it's been almost a week, week I think, maybe since I passed, uh, posted part six. But um, all of the likes that you guys have given it and a few times, you know, I've just been like, can we hit 3,000 maybe? You know, something like that. And we smashed it. We did it in like under one day of the video being up on, on YouTube, which is crazy, uh, which I really appreciate. And it's just basically a really good way of uh, telling how you guys are enjoying the video or not. Um, so this series is going really well. And what I hope to introduce um, is a pistol and knife only series on uh, Dereza. Or Dev Riser, um, that's a part of the resurrection map. Whoa, where are these? Where are these zombies? They're being a bit slow. Come on, guys, catch up. I um, uh, hope to do a pistol and knife only series on that as well, and a pistol and knife only series on Moon as well. Um, but I want to continue this series first of all. Um, have I got? I was about to say I didn't think I had all of the zombies on the map yet. What I'm doing is you're probably wondering why am I not shooting any zombies? Basically, um, I'm bringing the maximum number of zombies possible onto the map. Um, which is about 32 or something, I believe. And then once I've got the maximum number onto the uh, map, I'm just going to spray into them all um, in a long row. And this is where you really want to watch your pack, because zombies come out the floor, and it's not good news when that happens. Uh, and one thing I like to do is aim down the site when I play, and that's kind of risky, because you then move a lot slower. But I've got loads and loads and loads to cover. Hopefully this, this um, series can go on for ages as well, because I can just you know, pause my Xbox and come back to it whenever I want. Um, uh, I can, well, I've basically, I've had my Xbox on for a few hours now. I got to round 18, I left it. I don't really like playing Xbox for long, long stints, so I got to round 18 um, and I've left it, but I'm continuing here. So we're going to go for as far as possible. This is a really, really good technique for one player. Um, you will have seen the uh, previous six parts where I was in the other area where the Pack-A-Punch machine is. Well, sorry, not Pack-A-Punch machine. It's very close to the Pack-A-Punch machine teleporter, but, um, uh, the other area I was at with the uh, mystery box, which is uh, that's outside where the um, anti gravity is, so it's harder because the uh, the zombies sort of jump around in a really random pattern. And if you're trying to do like um, a long chain of zombies, then it it doesn't always go to plan. Let's okay. I see, this is why you do not want to spend too long shooting into the zombies because if you're not careful, you turn around and bam! Suddenly the zombies spawning um spawning next to you. See if we can. Jeez, and it slows you down so much. I tell you what, I'm so scared. I hate, I hate starting commentaries and then, especially something live like this. And then if I go down, I'm gonna be so gutted. I tell you, I tell you now. 
All right, so what we've got to talk about. First of all, covered loads of Modern Warfare 3 information this weekend. I'm sure I've got a lot of subscribers who are new to my channel and are probably wondering what this series is. Uh, it's basically just me playing the brand new uh, Black Ops map pack. Um, it's full of five um, zombies maps, and this is the latest one. And I just live commentate through it, you know, it doesn't have to be zombies related. Of course I'll be giving tips and tricks along the way, but um, at the moment I would love to talk about Modern Warfare 3, what um, I know about the game, uh, how my channel will develop as Modern Warfare 3 comes out. Um, and if you do enjoy this kind of stuff, then feel free to hit that like button, it really, really helps, shows me a lot of support, and uh, this series is doing so well uh, at the moment, I just really, really appreciate it. So, um, first of all, let's talk about uh, a few tips for this map. Um, if you're playing with more than one of you, um, then it's going to be a little trickier. As I said, one person can stay in here, and one person can go in the area as I previously, which I believe is, if you follow that route around there, you'll eventually get to the point. Um, luckily, I think I've got him in a sort of funny um, moonwalk situation here because he keeps on going over the uh, ramp as I go around here, so he's not really in my way at all, which is awesome. Um, come on, I'm bored. I'm bored. Pull out, see. Released the Kraken. Boom. Sweet. Oh, I've also got the um, QED device, which is sweet. Sweet. One thing that's annoying, I used to, um, the best thing, having three guns has really put me off, I'm not going to lie. Um, I've played with friends a few times just mucking around and, oh, got to make sure that uh, my route isn't blocked. And it's probably better than um, the ray gun as well, those pistols, just because they're literally like noob tubes at the end of the gun, what they are pretty much, and it just clears the way so nicely. Um, and it should, should last me up to a few rounds. And uh, basically the hacking device, staying in this room here, um, if you're playing alone, it's so simple. If you manage um, to get you know, a good set of perks like I've got here, I mean, whatever really floats your boat, to be honest, whatever you think are the best perks. Um, and then, I right, just spray into another group of zombies here. Um, and then what you want to do is get the hacking device and make sure this area is um, never, never hacked um, and is never hit by the excavator. Because um, every few rounds, uh, the excavator may activate, and when the excavator activates, it will decompress the area. And if if this biodome ever gets um, uh, decompressed, which means you know it's got a hole in the biodome, which means that um, uh, it will no longer. Um, so I can take my helmet off here. I can show you guys here. And I don't need my helmet on. I just like to have it on just because less sound and when I'm talking there isn't as much sound in my ears but um, then what you get is the hacking device and you run around this room with the hacking device all the time and whenever it see look a drop's landed here I don't want that drop because um, it's pretty much pointless and it makes it more awkward if big groups of zombies come in once they break through the barriers basically not a very useful perk but if you have the hacking device you can hack it and um, you can always turn it into a max ammo and imagine having max ammo with these pistols here as you can see you can you can go on forever and ever and ever I'm sorry I'm taking a long time here let me spray into a few of these guys 